Hey guys, Dean here again. Here is another launcher video today, but this time I'm going to show you how to install AT Launcher. So AT Launcher is another really popular launcher. The reason I'm doing all these launcher tutorials is because I keep getting comments on my older launcher videos on which one's the best and how to install specific ones. So I'm just having to make tutorials on all of them at this point. At the top of the AT Launcher website, which is going to be linked down below, just click on download. And then there's a few different downloads. So these support different operating systems. We have Linux and multiple different subtypes of Linux. We also have just JAR, which means just Java, which usually works on all operating systems. OS X, which is going to be for Mac users. And then also we have Windows and you can use the portable version, which is a portable exe file. It creates a folder where that file is to save all of your installations and mods and stuff like that. Or Setup, which uses like the app data folder and it's just an installer. So I'm going to click on Windows Setup. Click whichever version obviously suits you. Then in our Downloads folder or wherever you saved it, we're just going to double click AT Launch launcher and we're going to go through the installation setup so just click next accept the agreement and just install it in the default directory and also optionally you can install java too i already have java but you can just tick it just to make it easier on yourself in case you haven't got it or you haven't got the right version and then we're just going to wait for the launcher okay i'd recommend anyone who's just trying minecraft on pc for the first time or if you've just bought it or if you don't know if you have the right files just tick install java it just makes it much simpler and it's also going to prevent any crashes tick launch at launcher and press finish you're gonna wonder why is it so small well that's actually just the console that you saw okay we can close it, i believe we don't need to open and we can double click on the top bar of at launch to maximize it so it's going to have some news here. So this is talking about the recent incident with CurseForge, which is obviously being fixed now. That's nothing to do with the launcher. In the bottom left, we can check for updates. So if we're using an outdated version, we can update it here. Open folder. So that opens the folder where all of the instances and files are installed to, which is particularly useful if you want to install mods manually to. We can also click on show console if you've closed it like I did. And account here, by default, I've actually logged in already. I think this is either because I've installed AT Launcher before or I've actually logged into the default minecraft loader or launcher before and it's using the account information from that not quite sure but i have installed at launcher before in the past so it's probably that reason why but i'm going to run you through the process regardless as a fresh user so here's news if you want to check out the packs there's a few buttons for that which i'm going to show you in a minute so first of all let's just get the simple steps out of the way account is where we're going to add an account so if you want to use the at launcher in mod packs you need to authenticate it with an official minecraft or mojang account you need a paid version of minecraft java edition and that's not the same as the windows 10 edition aka the bedrock edition or the mobile version okay so you need a mojang official microsoft account which is linked to a java edition pc account okay this is not a cracked launcher this is not for people trying to play the game illegally this is a legal launcher only okay so let's get that out of the way so if you have an account you can simply just log in below if you don't there's a link to buy minecraft here and as you can see it doesn't work with cracked accounts okay so i don't need any comments below asking me that because i've answered it so you can add an account here here. If you have an account which has not been migrated, so a Mojang account, you can log in here or you can click on login with Microsoft. That'll bring up a pop up and then that will open up your internet browser and then you can select your Microsoft account. Now I'm already logged in, so I can just simply just select mine and link it. Mine is already linked, but I just wanted to show you how to do it in case you didn't know. Account added successfully, switch to it now, press yes, and now it will show in the bottom. Now it's showing it twice because I've already logged in, but I just wanted to show you how you guys could do it. On the right, there's also tools. So in here, we can uh, mess with some tools so we have network checker to see how fast our internet's going we have a skin updater to update all the account skins on the launcher we can delete a few different files with the clearers and cleaners here too under settings this is going to have some really useful stuff so here we have language settings the theme of the at launcher itself so we can press save and change to the light theme there's quite a few cool themes on here we have the date format just some basic information the downloads folder is particularly useful too where it's going to download things when it actually is in the browser we can enable or disable the console do we keep the launcher open when running the game etc so some pretty cool stuff here under mods this is going to show us the default mod platform where we download from so from here we have curseforge support and modrinth i'd recommend curseforge because the website's been up for a longer time so there's more of a diverse collection of mods mod restrictions is only going to restrict mods that are for the version you've selected i'd recommend leaving that on otherwise you're going to have incompatibilities if you install old mods for the wrong version of the game that's just something that beginners are going to have a problem with if they change that so 
leave that. Enable added mods by default, leave that on too. And there's a few settings here as well, which I wouldn't recommend messing with. Java Minecraft. So here's where we change our memory. So by default, it's on four gigabytes. So you can change your memory here. Remember, it's going to be in certain increments. So like 256, 512, 1024, 2048. If you don't get it, go on Google and figure out how many megabytes is in a gigabyte for each segment of RAM, for an example. Otherwise, you're going to mess this up. This is four gigabytes by default. I could just simply double this, which would be 8192. So that would be four gigabytes for this. And if I want eight gigabytes, I just double this number and that's 8192. So I'm going to type that in to give it eight gigabytes of RAM. Like I said, if that doesn't make sense, you just Google it. We can change the Java path here. So which version of Java we want to use. We can change the installation directory. So that's if you want to manually do that. Network. Do we want to use a proxy? What's the timeout and throttling settings for our internet? I'd recommend also leaving that. Don't modify it. There's not really much you need to modify under any of these other sections like backups or commands either. So that's the general settings. Just press save on whatever ones that you actually change at the bottom. We can go under servers. So we can install servers from the packs tab. So when you install a mod pack, it's going to show you support to servers for that mod pack you can connect to. Instances is instances of the game we've installed yet again from this packs tab. Now there's two buttons, okay? So we have vanilla packs over over here so this is going to be the section where we can create an instance from vanilla versions of the game so we create a version here so whichever version of the game is going to select that as the name so you can install any version of minecraft here which is the releases section so these are default releases all the way back from 1.0 release all the way up to the newest version 1.20.1. If you select experiments and then untick releases, that's going to show you experimental versions of the game. You can also do the same for snapshots. So that's going to show you snapshots. So versions which are kind of experimental with new features. Those are always fun to play. And also what I like the most is because I started playing Minecraft in in-dev slash alpha, really old days, I know. You can go back and play those versions of the super nostalgic too. We can mess around, go play the old betas. We can also go play the old alphas and the in-dev and all those ones super fun right and we can change the loader versions too so if we want to play 1.20.1 we can just play that here under non that would be for vanilla but if you do want to enable the mods you can actually do it in here you just select fabric and then it'll get the loader versions for that version or forge or legacy fabric or quilt so i'm just going to click forge install the latest version of forge for 1.20.1 and then just click create instance you can also create a server here too if you want to connect to your friends you can actually create a server and host it on your computer or connect with like your brothers or whoever's in the house that's also what you can do there too so when you create a new instance it's going to download all the files and resources for that instance and then it's also going to install the mod loader on top of that so it's going to take quite a while in at launch to actually create an instance right then under here on packs this is where you install full mod packs so vanilla packs is where you create your own modded installation and then on packs that's if you don't really understand minecraft modding yet you don't know how to create your own mod packs you just want to install something which is pre-made so that's easier for beginners so i'd always recommend beginner minecraft players to do this or if you're just jumping into the modded scene so under packs we have some pretty cool ones we have pokemon craft all the fabric 4 all the forge 9 a lot of the popular packs like cobblemon and in brackets sometimes it'll show you what mod loader it's for that's obviously if the authors obviously put that in the title you can press new instance or create server on these two so you can easily host the server or download the game here with new instance okay so on the left hand side we can also filter where we're downloading them from so we can download mod packs from the technic launcher which i really like they've got some really great packs on here like tech it classic tech it the new tech it 2.0 really great packs on here so you can install them off here too you can install them off mod Rinth, which is a slightly newer platform so the selection's not really going to be as diverse then also curse forge which is going to have the most mod packs here and then also at launcher which is obviously the mod packs host on their platform so there's going to be some really good ones on at launcher too which you can download and there's a long list on at launcher so to be honest you could just use their platform too also on every single website that you select there's sorting features so you can sort which version of the game you want to find a mod pack for if you have a favorite version sort by the name or popularity and they have different sorting features based on the platform so curse forge also has categories so we could find things like adventure and rpg mod packs and then we could download like rl craft and obviously mod Rinth also has similar categories like ones with quests or ones with technology and then technic 
just has packs but we can obviously use the search bar on all of these websites as well now i like ticket classic which is an old mod pack so i'm going to search for that here's ticket classic new instance install ticket classic then we can also select which version of the mod pack we want to install recommended or latest i'm just going to install the latest and press install and then it's going to download our pack now the reason i installed this is it's minecraft 1.2.5 so it's super old very quick to install just to kind of show you guys how it works in theory so this is going to install very quickly and then now i'm just going to quickly load this mod pack to show you guys it's working so it'll install the mod pack it'll install any resources it needs as well as all the mods and then it'll install the appropriate version of java because remember newer versions of minecraft are like on java 17 or 18 now after like minecraft 1.16.5 i think and then the older versions are like on java 8 to 11 or something like that so it's going to make sure the right version is installed and then it's going to check for any mods on curse forge now technic which is the launcher we installed this through doesn't use curse forge for its mods okay but it's going to check that it's going to install it and then now we can find it in the instances tab so don't get it mixed up don't go into vanilla packs or packs when we install any packs from these two buttons they're going to go into instances and from here we can either click on play online or offline we can edit the instance we can reinstall it clone it rename it change any information we can modify the mod loaders and actually like create our own like mutant custom pack and edit this one we can back it up we can change the settings so here's where we obviously select the amount of ram which we want so you can do that specifically per pack and override the defaults we set in the launcher and press save then we can open the folder so if we find any mods for this version we want to install manually we can install them in here or we can modify the config files this way we can also open the website of the pack edit the mods which can allow us to see what's enabled and we can click on them and then press disable selected if we want to pick and choose which mods we want to run that's also useful add mods that allows us to add more mods too and i believe these are mods for the specific version because we selected that in launcher so we can add mods here from curse forge we can select resource packs or worlds over here if we're on a really old version which is not supported on the website and then we can also delete it so i'm just going to click play just to show you guys the mod packs working first before we close out the video and it's really as simple as that guys to install mod packs or create a fresh modded instance on at launcher so now we have tech it classic we can just go in creative mode for an example create a brand new world and you can see the old loading bar already loads super super quickly right kind of nostalgic and now when we go in this we have the old creative menu with all of our modded suits like the quantum suit super 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 such a throwback right and we have some of the old textures so that's how to install at launcher how to create our own modded or vanilla profile with any mod load that we like how to then install mods manually or install pre-made mod packs from curse forge mod rinth and also the technic launcher and the at launchers platforms so i hope this was useful to you guys if you have any questions or things that you're struggling with from this tutorial just leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and help you with your questions and in turn give the video a like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time